everyone, it's Angela from Cake Angel and welcome to another Technique Tuesday video. In this week's video, I'm going to show you how to make a simple vegan royal icing using two ingredients that you probably already have around your house. We're going to use a simple can of chickpeas and some icing sugar. And that's all we need. So let's get going. Okay, so before we start, I'm just going to run through everything that we need to make our icing. I'm going to be using my stand mixer and I'll be using the whisk attachment for the icing so that we can get lots of air incorporated into it. Now I have already pre-treated my bowl and my whisk attachment with some vinegar. That's just to make sure there's no grease on there because if we have any grease in here at all when we're mixing our icing, it will actually kind of ruin it and deflate it and it won't work. So you need to make sure everything is clean and white vinegar is perfect for that. And then I've got a bowl with a sieve because we're actually going to strain our chickpeas so that we can catch all that juice that's inside and that's the liquid that we'll be using to make our icing. Let's go ahead and get that done first. Now I don't buy a particular brand of chickpeas when I make this kind of icing, I just go for the cheapest one. You may find that you'll get a different amount of liquid. Some tins just have more than others. But I always find whichever tins that I've used, whichever brand they are, that there's always enough to make this. Okay, so you can see it's full to the brim. I'm just gonna dump this in and then I'll show you the liquid. Now, if you like hummus, I'm actually going to make hummus with this as well. So it's a great way to use both parts of the can. I'm going to shake these off. And I'm going to show you this. So you can see this is quite a really brown liquid. It's called aquafaba. And it's the liquid that we need to make our ice and sugar. Very, very popular in vegan cooking. And it has a little bit of a beany smell to it, but trust me, when you mix it in with the icing sugar, that disappears. You also don't get any colour in your icing because we add so much icing sugar to it that you'll still get a really nice white colour as you would if you weren't making a vegan royal icing. Also, the good thing with this is you don't need meringue powder. We can get this to whip up really nicely and add our icing sugar. It's perfect. That's all we need. So it's a much cheaper alternative as well. So next, I'm going to set my chickpeas aside, and as I said, I'll use those for hummus later. I'm going to dump the aquafaba into the mixing bowl. So we have quite a good quantity in there. I'm going to pop my whisk attachment on. And then we're just going to turn it on. I'm going to start on a two. If you have a KitchenAid, I suggest a two. And then just let it mix. stop that it hasn't mixed for very long but I'm just going to show you that you'll start to see it's frothing just a tiny tiny bit on the sides. I want to mix that for a few more minutes just to get a little bit more air into it then we'll start adding our icing sugar. I'm just going to turn it up as well just to speed up this process.
so again, it hasn't been whisking for too long. But you'll notice a big difference. You see how frothy that is? So this is the consistency that we want it. It's still really, really liquid, but we've got lots of air bubbles in it now. So we're ready to start adding our icing sugar. So I have a kilo bag of icing sugar here. Ideally, we're gonna add about two pounds, and this is a little over two pounds. So I'm gonna dump about half of it in, start to incorporate it with a spatula. Then we'll mix it up for a little bit. Then we'll start to add more of that icing sugar. If you can buy a two pound bag, I know in some places they do sell it in pounds instead, then you'll be fine just to use all of that. Now I don't bother sifting my icing sugar at all. This is pre-sifted, so they've done the job for me already. Let's add a little bit more actually. What I am gonna to do to avoid that big puff of icing sugar that you sometimes get when you make icing, is I'm gonna stir it with a spatula first just to incorporate it. And you'll actually hear those bubbles start to pop a little bit whilst you're doing this, but that's perfectly fine. Okay, so let's just give you a quick look before we start mixing it. So you can see, still got some lumps of ice and sugar in there, but that whisk attachment is gonna beat all of those out for us. So now we're gonna go ahead and start to mix it. So that was on a six, I should have mentioned that first. Let's take a look at it now. It is nicely incorporated. So I'm not gonna worry too much about mixing this anymore because we wanna get the rest of that icing sugar in there. So let's give this a wipe and you can have another look. See, it's got that really nice white color now. So it's lost that brown color from the aquafaba. And it does still have that strong bean smell to it as well. But again, once we start adding the rest of the icing sugar, that will actually dissipate. What you can do if you like to flavor your royal icing is I would actually add your flavoring at this point rather than once you've added all of your icing sugar. So let's go ahead and add some more. And remember, because this bag is more than two pounds, I'm actually gonna leave some in the bag. And as with any kind of icing that you make, if you find that it's a little bit too stiff for you, you can just add a little bit of water to it afterwards. Let's incorporate this with our spatula first. So this batch of icing costs me around $2.50 Canadian, so you can see if you're not using meringue powder, it's a lot, lot cheaper. Obviously depends how much you pay for your chickpeas, a bag of icing sugar is about one sixty here. Okay, that's nice and incorporated, I'll just give you another look at this. Okay, so we're going to go ahead, we're going to whisk it. So I'm gonna go back to a six on this, and once it looks like it's more fully incorporated, then we're gonna turn it up and we're gonna let it mix for about six minutes.
Okay, so this is coming together really nicely. Just gonna give it a scrape down before we start that six minutes of whisking. And that's the time that will actually help it thicken up for us. It's quite runny at this stage. As you can see, it's already starting to look like flood icing. I may add a little bit more of my icing sugar just to thicken it up a little bit more. But as I say, as we start to whisk it, it will get more volume in it anyways. Okay, let's pop the little bit more in. Um, get this last bit in the bowl. Okay, so before I start this, I'm just going to move the camera in so you can have a look at this as it's mixing in the bowl, and then we'll carry on and we'll mix it for six minutes. Okay, so let's take a look. It's a pretty nice thick icing now. You can see it's probably at a medium stiff consistency, I would say. There's a little bit of movement in, in the peak here. So it's not a full stiff peak consistency, more like a medium. Like I say, this would be great for um, detailed flower work, nice detailed puffy icing as well. Um, not for flooding, you would actually have to put some extra liquid in it for flood icing. This is great, it's turned out really well. I'm going to uh, zoom out and then we can just go through some final things with our icing. Okay, so that's our icing mixed. I hope you really enjoyed watching that. Let's have another look at the stiffness of the consistency. So again, it's not a full stiff peak, it's slightly bending over, which means it's more of a medium stiff. Great for puffy icing and flowers as well. So this has made what I would say is a normal size batch of royal icing if you normally use meringue powder. Quite a lot of icing here. You would go ahead and flavour this at this stage if you still wanted to, although I would have probably added flavour sooner if I was doing that. But you could colour this up now and split it as you normally would. Treat it like regular royal icing. It does act in exactly the same way. And for storage, also I would suggest that you store it in the same way so it will start to crust over fairly quickly in the air. So I suggest you put some plastic wrap on it once you've popped it in a bowl or even if you're going to be working on it straight away, just pop some plastic wrap or a shower cap over the top and that will stop it from drying out. And then if you're bagging it up and you're going to be using the bags for a while, they'll be fine on the counter or you can even pop them in the fridge. And any that you have left and you aren't going to use for a while, definitely freeze them. That will prolong the use of your icing as well. So I really hope you found that useful. Let me know in the comments below whether you've tried vegan royal icing before or if you think you're going to have a go with this one. As I said, it's a really cheap alternative to regular royal icing. Great for vegans because there's obviously no dairy or animal products in it either. 
So I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well. And I'll also pop some links up here for you so you can check out more of our Royal Icing videos. Thanks for watching.